So as you can see there, this is fail. But we promised epic fail, so we'll have to look further. <laughs> so let's go back to the table. Well, the chain of trust is broken. And back to the selves. We now like how just about everything works here, except for the signature part. So how do they do that? How does the signature thing work? So this is ECDSA, and it's some crazy math stuff that guy over there is going to explain now. <laughs> OK. Hi. Okay, so the thing we are trying to do is figure out a private key they use to, to put signature on all the files. Uh, you normally cannot do that, of course, that's why it's a good crypto system. Uh, uh, in ECDSA, there's a lot of parameters that are public, that B, A, B, G, N, Q, E, R, S, whatever. Uh, but there are two things that are private uh, in, a, in a single signature. That's K, the private key which we want to have, and it's M, which is supposed to be a random number. Okay, next slide. Okay, so how does someone who signs something calculate uh, the numbers R and S, which are the signature? Well, R is done by, uh, by scalar multiplication of base point of the elliptic curve, blah, 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 difficult stuff. It's the difficult problem that uh, uh, that's the base of uh, the security of all elliptic curve crypto, uh, but S is just calculated as normal numbers. Um, well, so that, uh, uh, that first equation uh, we cannot solve. No one in the world can solve it, so let's just ignore it. But the second equation, uh, it's, it's got two unknowns in it now, K and M, so we cannot solve for it either. But M is supposed to be a random number. And for some reason, Sony uses the same random number all the time. <laughs> so, so there at the top are, is, uh, are the two equations again, but twice now, like we have two, uh, two separate signatures. Uh, we're going to ignore that top one again, because it's difficult, right? Uh, but now at uh, uh, the equation for S1 and S2, uh, we still have only two unknowns because it's the same M. It's supposed to be a different M every time. Then we've got three unknowns, only two equations. No way to solve it. But now we've got uh, only two unknowns. So uh, it's, it's trivial to just solve for M by just uh, uh, you take the two, uh, the, uh, the two formulas, subtract them, um, whatever, just a bit of formula manipulation. And then you solve M, and then you've got M, and you just fill it in, and then you solve for K. So we've, we've got a private key without, uh, without even having to know most of, uh, most of the curve parameters and anything. So th we actually used ECDSA in the Homebrew channel's uh, network update functions so that someone can't own your Wii through a man-in-the-middle attack or something. So this is how we do it, right? We do the EC math. You can see the M times EG, blah, 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 stuff there. And for M, we read cryptographically secure random numbers from devrandom on Linux. Uh, you know, that's what you're supposed to do, and what Sony does is, well... And, of course, as uh, Sekhar explained, if you use the same M, you can calculate K once you have two signatures. And if you have K, well, that's a private key. And with a private key, you can sign things. <laughs> so these signatures are every bit as valid as Sony's official signatures. They are indistinguishable. And we can, we can get keys for LV2, we can get keys for LV1, we can get keys for uh, revocation lists, we can get keys for uh, hypervisor configuration files, which is interesting, and for packages and a whole bunch of stuff. So um, We actually don't have keys for level 1 because sorry, yeah. we can't run that loader because it does weird hardware stuff, so we still have to figure that out. Yeah, sorry. So, in fact, you can get the keys if you have the... Um, 
the plain text for all the loaders, but right now Sony's security for the few loaders that uh, haven't been dumped yet hinges on just the AES stuff that we don't have and the per console key, but everything that you need to get these keys is inside a PS3, you just have to get to it. So back to the table here, well, <laughs> they botched the public key crypto, so that's a big fail. And we're left with user kernel mode within the on die boot room, which are not exactly high tech security features. So, pretty much botched the entire thing.